you're pregnant, and may be feeling all sorts of emotions and have many questions. This video series provides some basic information about prenatal genetic testing to help you make decisions based on what matters most to you. It is possible to find out about some chromosomal conditions before your baby is born. NIPT, or non-invasive prenatal testing, is a safe and simple blood test that looks at DNA from the pregnancy that is in the pregnant woman's blood. NIPT is a non-invasive and accurate chromosomal screening test that is available as early as 10 weeks during pregnancy. NIPT can screen for the most common chromosomal conditions, trisomy 21, also known as Down syndrome, as well as Edwards syndrome, known as trisomy 18, and Patau syndrome, known as trisomy 13. What is a positive NIPT screening result? A positive screening result means the chance of the condition is higher. A positive NIPT result does not mean the pregnancy is definitely affected. In some cases, the condition may not be present. This is called a false positive result. NIPT is a screening test and results should be confirmed by diagnostic testing, either chorionic villus sampling or CVS or amniocentesis prior to making any pregnancy management decisions. Because NIPT is more accurate than other screening tests, such as first trimester screening, also known as the first trimester combined test, with NIPT you are less likely to get a false positive result and undergo unnecessary invasive diagnostic testing. What is a negative NIPT screening result? A negative NIPT screening result means the likelihood that the condition is present is lower. In rare cases, a screening test may be negative even if the chromosomal condition is present in the pregnancy. This is called a false negative result. It is very rare for NIPT to miss finding a pregnancy with a common chromosomal condition. In a small percentage of cases, NIPT is not able to provide a result. This is called a failed or no-call result. The most common reason is that there is not enough DNA from the pregnancy in the blood sample. You may be asked to provide another blood sample, or your provider may also offer an ultrasound and or a diagnostic test if NIPT does not provide a result. All testing options are voluntary. You may choose to have testing, or you may decline all options. In case you still have questions, speak with your healthcare provider about what matters most to you.